into today's KTV and the terrific Tuesday tip of the week. Yeah! Woo! So you can tell last week's uh, KTV was about change is hard. And look where I am, back to my regular old comfortable setting. I just love having y'all in my office. You can see out my window. I feel like Van White. So anyway, I got some lights to profess it up a little bit, but I'm sending the backdrop back. I'm sending the other stuff back, and we're going to do it my way. So welcome to KTV. Today's KTV kicks off something that I'm so excited about. It is kind of like free coaching for Y-O-U. You're not supposed to point, but for Y-O-U. Free coaching for you. The best part of KTV, the viewers. So we are going to do this for the remainder of 2014 and all of 2015. Not every week, but a few weeks out of each month, we're going to feature an amazing business owner, one of you. An amazing business, one of you and your question. Because just like they said in school, if one person has a question, it's likely that many of you have the same question. So today kicks off our first ever free coaching on KTV with a, what, bleh, 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 with a question that I guarantee more than one person has thought before. So let's jump in. Today's viewer question comes from McKenna. And McKenna asks, how do you convert in spite of the noise? McKenna basically says, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, but I know about opt-ins, I know about social media, but there are so many people out there delivering stuff to our customers' inboxes that our customers may not want to hear from another business coach, life coach, weight loss coach, whatever. And with all the changes in social media, McKenna wants to know how do you convert in spite of the noise. So thank you so much for your question. And you know what, McKenna, you're right. There is a lot of noise out there. Now, my gut instinct would be, be louder than the noise. But that's a silly answer, right? So I'm going to give you a two-step process to convert in spite of the noise. The first step to convert in spite of the noise is to do the common things uncommonly well. Now, I know you may want to slide your glasses on and be like, what you talking about, Kendrick? Give me your best Willis. No, not Willis. Your best... Whoever, what you talking about, Willis, impression. What you talking about, Kendrick? Do the common things uncommonly well. McKenna, it's all the things that you referenced. Your opt-in, showing up on social media, adding value. I know that those things can feel like a lost cause, especially when you post and don't get comments. I know that it can be demoralizing, but there's a reason that those are the business building basics, and that's because they work. So you still have to have an opt-in. You need to post it on social media weekly. You need to speak your customer's language when you, when you post anything on social media. You need to show up in the groups and add value. You need to do the common things uncommonly well because the reason this works is other people are not. Other people are not doing the common things uncommonly well. So step number one is do the common things uncommonly well. All those business building basics you know to do. Step number two is what I call engagement selling. What is engagement selling? It's consults, mini sessions, and follow-up. Consults, mini sessions, follow-up. It is the heart of authentic selling. People crave connection. People want to be heard. They want to be understood. And all things being equal, friends buy from friends. All things being unequal, friends buy from friends. You want to engage with your people. So the way to kind of do these common things uncommonly well is to show up where your people are, to show up and add value. When somebody spills their guts in a forum, and you and I both know they do, if you can help, offer to help free of charge. Hey, you know what? I'm a sales coach and I think I can help you get over that feeling of being pushy. I'd love to hop on the phone with you for 15 minutes, free of charge. Offer to be of service. Consults, mini sessions, engage with your audience. Engage, 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 and then follow up. Now, Sales is not rocket science. You may be thinking, all of you may be thinking, I've tried that and it's not working. But here's what I want you to know. It's a little bit of a free coaching that's sweet as pie but tough as nails. If you've tried it and it's not working, you're doing something wrong. Because statistics show 
that this works. You don't have to take my word for it. Sales statistics show that engagement selling works. So, step number one, do the common things and commonly well. Step number two, show up, add value, engage with your people. It's what politicians call kissing the babies. It's why you see them go out and having pie at the local restaurant in Tennessee. They are engaging with the people. That's what you have to do. You've got to become one of your people, engage with them, so you get the opportunity to tell them how you can help them. Thank you so much for being here. I can't wait until next week's free coaching on KTV. Thank you, McKenna, and you can read all about her and her amazing business below. And until next week, I believe in you and I believe in your business. Thank you.